In this next video, I'm going to show you how to perform a VBI test. And VBI stands for Vertebral Bazilla Insufficiency Test. Okay, or you can also call it Vertebral Bazilla Artery Test. Now, one way to do it is actively from the patient, but I'm just here just to guide them a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to get my patient to slowly extend. I'm just guiding them into extension. Okay, and then that in itself will be a test. Okay, with the eyes open. And then you can just look to see if there's any flickering of the eyes. If a patient feels unsteady, like dizziness or vertigo. And then if that's the case, the patient should come off the position. And then you should stop immediately. You can also, from here, ask a patient to rotate to one side. And then hold for about 20-30 seconds. And again, looking for any signs or any symptoms. Okay, and then come off our position. And then doing the same again on this side. Okay, so we are extending and rotating and we are holding for about 20 to 30 seconds to see if there's any change. Okay, even though it's done actively, I still like to control them passively in case there was an issue. So this would be a VBI or a VBA test. 